here at the wall today and we are going to have a rescue scenario. I've got the equipment here that we're going to use, which is a four foot sling, an aluminum uh, screw locking carabiner with a gree gree, another aluminum screw locking carabiner, and a prosic. Our scenario is going to be this. We're going to have a participant up on the wall and a belayer. The belayer is lead staff here and something horrible happens. She has quick onset diarrhea. So at the same time, the participant is going to get their finger, shoelace, something wedged up on the wall to where they cannot release themselves. So I'm going to have to instruct my staff member step by step on how to come in and take over from me and ascend to save the participant while I run off and take care of myself. All right, so here we are, we have our scenario. I am the first belayer and our participant is on the wall. Um, I'm gonna belay him up and about at the same time, I'm gonna have to run off to the bathroom and he's gonna get stuck on the wall. So I have to instruct Macy on how to transfer the belay over to him and get use the proper uh, gear and knots to move up the wall to ascend to Adam and um, transfer all of the gear around to then lower Adam down off the wall. So here we go. All right, Adam, go ahead and climb up the wall. All right, Adam, that's pretty good. I'm not feeling so well. My finger's stuck. Oh dear, okay, so we have a finger stuck and I've gotta to get to the bathroom. Macy, you're free, can you come help me please? All right, awesome. What I need you to do first is wrap a prussic up here above this rope, please. All right, so he's gonna wrap this prussic. And what this is gonna do is, once he has this wrapped, he's gonna use this, an aluminum screw gate carabiner, and the four foot sling to redirect the weight of the climber onto Macy and off of me so that I can then take myself off belay. All right, so Macy's gonna go ahead and sit down, all right? And then he's gonna grab his gree gree, and with the gree gree, he's going to clip in underneath me, making sure that it's oriented properly. Okay, symbols on the uh, gree gree are helpful. So yeah, that's going up to the climber. Yeah, you might want to clip on the front of your belay loop. And then just remember as that comes up that it's going to cinch down on, on your girth hitch. So try and keep your stuff separate. So, yeah, so, um, okay, you're on belay, good deal. All right, give me just a little slack. You don't have to pull hard because remember you're redirecting the weight. Okay, I'm going to come off belay now, all right? and screw my carabiner, and then just give me a little slack. Yep, perfect, all right? And slide out the carabiner, clip it onto the ATC, pop out, okay? Now, when you stand up, just remember that's gonna cinch down. So, what I would do is, while you're pulling in, try and pull down this prussic at the same time if possible, but just be careful as you stand. Okay? Now that Macy has Adam on his gree gree, he can tie off using an overhand on a bite so he can be hands free. Just make sure you move that prussic up so it up, yep, so it's out of your way. Okay, so he's tying off using an overhand on a bite, just taking the slack from the belay end, wrapping it around the rope going up to the climber. Tying off, good. All right, now this will give him the opportunity to undo the girth hitch from his sling, or excuse me, from his belay loop. And keeping stuff clean and neat and knowing how stuff is gonna work once it's weighted is a big thing. Um, because the system is weighted, it's very easy. There we go, perfect. So the girth hitch had gotten stuck underneath this carabiner which can be time consuming if you're not careful. So next, Macy's gonna lengthen out that sling, okay? And just kind of throw it, yep, perfect. 
clip in the carabiner up there and you're going to girth hitch the sling to your foot. Okay? Just like that, you girth hitch it and then it's going to clip the end of that girth or excuse me, the end of that sling into the aluminum screw gate carabiner that connects to the prusik. All right? So now he has made himself able to ascend up to Adam, okay? So now what he has to do is undo the knot, the stopper knot. Okay, maintaining hands on belay. Even though a gree gree does cinch down on the rope and um, keeps it from moving, you still want to maintain belay and not get lazy. All right, so what's going to happen is this prusik is going to slide up. Okay, he's going to put his hand under, it's going to slide up, and it's going to bring his knee up. All right, so kind of simultaneously all at once he's going to step off of that sling while pulling up with his arm and pulling up off the gree gree. Um, so taking in the slack. It's quite a task and it can be tiring. Good job. And the swing is crazy. So this is literally the worst case scenario here at the wall but it is a tool that can be used in many rescue scenarios um, outside of a controlled wall environment. So as Macy ascends, remember to use the wall as best as you can. Just stay close. You got it, Macy. Good job, buddy. Just keep, remember to keep that foot underneath you and stand up like you're standing up off that leg. Perfect. Good job, man. All right, so as you're ascending, you know, if you're working with a participant or trying to save somebody, you know you want to be in contact. So how you doing up there, Adam? Pretty good. All right, cool. Is your finger still stuck? Yeah. Uh-oh. All right, well, Macy's on his way. And, oh, uh, sure. and I've already had my accident, so I might as well just stick around and, you know, instruct Macy. Watch your swing, buddy. Good job. All right. So this is, this is training for Macy. Macy's learning how to do this, but he already knows how. He's just um, he's getting better, more practice. And today is our day to kind of work on it at the wall, so I thought it would be good to use this as our video. Takes a lot of energy, so it's a technique that must be practiced and you must get used to if you're going to work in this type of an environment. Because with the public, you never know what's going to happen. Yep. All right, so Macy has reached our participant. Yep, Macy, go ahead and tie off just like you did down at the bottom with an overhand on a bite. All right. So Macy's fixed our uh, participant's finger. He's no longer stuck. And um, now what Macy's going to do is once he's tied off, he's going to then ungirth hitch the uh, sling from his foot and girth hitch it back to um, himself. Could this be doubled or just like this? Uh, doubled, yep. Just like it was before. And then once you've done that, you will um, take off the prusik and put it on the, uh, the climber's rope and then attach the prusik and the carabiner back to the sling. Okay. All right, so what this has done is connected the rescuer and the participant together. So as Macy begins to lower himself on the gree gree, the participant's just gonna follow right along. Macy has oriented himself below the participant, so once he's ready to lower, Macy will then straighten out his legs, just like he would in the rep rappel position, asking the, uh, the climber to keep his hands on the rope in front of him and uh, just stay oriented right above him and ride down. Okay? So yeah, it'll take a couple seconds, but then you'll start to follow. 
All right, good deal. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Perfect. All right, and Macy's gonna get down first. All right, awesome, and we've just made a rescue. Successful, good job, guys.